All right, so with this, we complete the course, Spring Boot Quick Start. We've covered a lot of ground so far, so here's what we did. We started the course by understanding what Spring Boot is, and we set up a simple Spring Boot application. That was Unit 1. In Unit 2, we looked at the View tier, specifically the Spring MVC tier. We saw how Spring MVC lets us create these REST API endpoints and map it to business logic. We created a simple API for the topic service, and uh, we were able to map it to hard-coded uh, hard logic and hard-coded data on the server side. In Unit 3, we kind of took a slight detour from our application, and we looked at alternative ways for us to create Spring Boot applications. We saw one way in Unit 1. We saw a few more in Unit 3. In Unit 4, we used what we learned in Unit 3 to create a new project which included the Spring Data JPA, and we examined Spring Data JPA in much more detail. We looked at how we could connect to the database using Spring Data JPA, how to map the objects and classes to database tables using object relational mapping, including JPA annotations and having it work with the Spring Data JPA framework. In Unit 5, we saw how to package and execute our Spring Boot application, as well as looked at a tool which lets you create, uh, manage metrics, and uh, observe the state of your application that's deployed in production, uh, which was the Spring Actuator, which is a sub-project of Spring Boot. The source code that we've been working on all along is available on the tutorial page on Java Brains or javabrains.io. Definitely check that out and feel free to play around with it. The original promise that I made when I started this course was by the time you're done, you will have enough knowledge and information to comfortably create a Spring application using Spring Boot from the scratch. I really hope we are there now. Definitely play around with Spring Boot a little bit more and try out all the different possibilities that it brings to the table. You've been watching the course Spring Boot Quick Start on Java Brains. Thanks for watching.